All right, hey there, folks. Welcome back to. Uh, it's still so weird to say Campaign 17, but it is, I think, Campaign 17, and I'm pretty sure this is where we left off the last battle. We had this battle here right around this freshly constructed supply depot from the CSA. Thanks very much. And uh, we got the win there, and I think the plan is to pretty much keep Kelly doing what he's doing, which is he's got a long way to go. Once we get him to yellow, we can get him to scout. Uh, with Abbott, we're going to actually have Abbott scout while he... I Actually, I think Kentucky would be from the territory. But anyways, we're going to try to get Abbott up as close to green as we can. Then we're going to go sit on that supply depot. Uh, I don't know if this army... So, I saw Sibley's core. Where did it go? Well, Sibley's core was down here, and it started falling back. I don't know if this army of the Kentucky is the same thing. Or if it's something different, I don't know. But eventually, there's going to be a push to to secure this. The the kind of normal supply areas that tend to work in Kentucky. Generally, the center is pretty good. A, a fair amount of the west is good, and then once you get like east of Lexington, southeast of it, it's just a supply desert for the most part. And getting into Tennessee doesn't quickly help. Uh, help. So, my my experience and my kind of plan would be to try to make the run the gap from Indiana uh, down to, yeah, Bowling Green, and then from Louisville to, what is this, uh, Munfordville, or to Bowling Green as a kind of precursor to push Nashville. Uh, but yeah, the forts are constructed because this is the summer, this is kind of the modified summer 61 scenario. So the, the forts, Donaldson, Henry, there's a third somewhere. A a anyways, they are up. And uh, we'll deal with them in time. I'm a little concerned with this Army of Kentucky. It looks like it's going for Lexington. So then we're going to have to burn our supply depot there. But anyways, that was last battle over in Missouri. Again, if you're just joining us or you, you need the refresher. Well, even if you don't need the refresher, you're going to get it. And this is what happens when, <laughs> when you're not watching the screen. Things like this happen. We are outnumbered. Oh, oh no, we're not. Oh, my. Look at how close that Army composition is. Like, uh, just allow me a moment to, to, to brag a little bit and say that, of course, you know, it's never going to happen again now, but I, I've been tuning the AI army's composition to pretty much do what mine, to, to do what I normally do. I think it's around, uh, it's like 4% artillery, 16% cav, and 80% infantry. I don't know, maybe that's not quite right, but it felt like, uh, I was using too much cav, so I wanted to use less cav, but still have at least a, a brigade per army. I think in some of these I've mistakenly included two brigades per army. So as new corps are raised, I think it, it's going to be like a soft house rule uh, to maybe use one cav brigade per corps, roughly 2,300 for every 20,000 men is is probably the ratio I have. And... Uh, well, well, we'll we'll see, but that's that's my plan at the moment. We are here. I know a lot of people hate the bull run map. Maybe they, or I don't know if they hate it, but they're bored of always playing it. Now we actually got to defend this unfinished railroad previously. Uh, we are up against a force that is apparently about the size of our own. Let's try to figure out. Well, from the map, it looked like southeast, right? The campaign map. So yeah, and in fact, it is southeast, and so the road. You know, if that's where they come in, I don't know if they're going to try to go around or if they're great. Because if they go around, they come up through the, the south here. I think I'm overthinking it, and we uh, we certainly don't want to do that. Uh, the question is whether we want to sit back on defense. And, and my, the reason why I would sit back here is because if I deploy forward you know, on Henry Hill and Matthews Hill... And they come from the south. Those are not always... I don't know. They're not as strong defensive positions as the Unfinished Railroad. I feel like the Unfinished Railroad is, is a better hedge on on your bets. Uh, let's see. What do we what do we get? I want to detach. First of all, let's clean this up as much as we can. Make it... Get it looking good. I'm going to detach the artillery while we're still in defense time uh i think we'll sit it out here and actually while we're here let's just put everybody in single line i think it's the least 
the least bad option. All right, so we'll give them this. I guess we'll give them uh, this kind of view. We don't have to be way off in the corner. Again, I apologize if the key's clicking here too much. We, we have what I think is a better headset, a better microphone. We I reset the sound setting, so now that we're... Well, actually, I did not. All right, the beauty of OBS's pause on pause is that you didn't notice anything, but I had reset the sound for campaign, which I don't think I did after the last battle. Although, I guess we didn't play that much campaign after the last battle, so maybe it wasn't that big of a deal. But, uh, yeah... We gotta turn the sound up after the battle. Anyways, I've turned it down for this battle. And yeah, we're just gonna sit like this for now. Methinks. We will give everyone. I'll I'll try out the defensive stance. The thing. You know what? I'm not. I'm not going to. Because they, they do like weird things that they shouldn't do when they're in that defensive stance. So. Uh, I'm going to put my cab up here. I'm going to move McClellan while we're paused up here as well. At the division level, let's see. I don't know if they'll listen to me, but I'll try for medium range and put skirmishers out. Yeah, it's really hard, actually, I think, to get, like, a decent... Yeah, I, I don't think anybody's going to come through Sudley Springs. I don't. Maybe I'll just leave this battery back here. Do we have high enough elevation back here? Eh, it doesn't really look like it. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a little bit you could imagine them shooting through over here, but let's just play. Enough yakety yak. And we'll at least... Well, I don't know how far forward they might... They might have deployed. Uh... All right, we'll 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 go this way. And we will see what we see. Uh, push our scouts out. We'll have McClellan start to move. And uh, in the hopes of moving things along, I'll pause you, which should make the AI magically appear. Well, kind of, sort of. It, it, it took a moment, but it didn't take much longer than a moment. So we found Donaldson. And now we can have King fall back here. McClellan, you can actually start moving back already. But it does appear that they're coming in this way. I'm going to continue to watch it on my end, but I'm not going to make you uh, suffer through that process. They should be going for the victory point. That's usually what they gear towards. My prediction is that they'll probably... So if they're on this road, they'll probably eventually come up here, come up here. Uh, and then I don't know if they're going to go down to Groveton and over or if they're going to end up coming here and then going down to, to Matthews Hill. So I might readjust a bit after that um yeah it's kind of a it's, a it's a bit of a question as to whether I, I know that i said i wasn't gonna bring you in for this but i don't know if it makes sense to try to hold them here i'm thinking it might because i can get in the woods i can get dismounted prone all that other stuff and we can see if they try to force balls forward the the challenge is if this doesn't work uh and and they're able to push other fords simultaneously and come up and around us it could be very difficult to extricate ourselves and get this cav away without breaking and why we want it is because of the morale buff that it gives to friendlies as well as the morale debuff it gives to enemies uh, i think we can move mcclellan along a little bit without losing too much uh, it's possible that when they come down here, they'll see that this is guarded and they may elect to bounce up to the stone bridge. All right, fine. Uh, but I'm wondering if we need to do a little bit of a pivot or, or maybe just space out the brigades a little bit better uh, so that we don't end up getting flanked and allowing them to walk through a relatively open area. They, they can come through here and then it's only a short attack through we want to make that more complicated hopefully this battle goes better than the last one uh and we we suffered last time because i did not i did not have out the weapons uh i had not equipped all my forces with the right guns and so the csa was in a rare position where it would be better equipped than my force although we actually did about 50 50 before 
uh, casualties before my, my, my folks came in. And that, that just shows you how disadvantaged the AI is because of, I think it's because of double line and, and so similar formations. But it looks like the AI has broken contact. I'll sit here for a bit without you if I don't see them. And uh, then if they continue to not show up, then I will go out in search of them. So I do see them. I can see the models here and here, but it, it's starting to look like they've already decided. That was pretty cool. I've never heard that one. It's a, it's a Cav thing. Yeah, I, I, I like the voices. The, the one thing is that sometimes they just play way too quickly. And so they end up saying the same thing over and over, or something very similar, the same few lines, kind of like a wind-up toy. But it's still really cool uh, if maybe it happened a little bit less frequently. But it's kind of like, uh, again, not quite as involved, but kind of like Company Heroes 3, right? How uh, how the units will do that, that chatter. Ooh, cool. We got we got them dropping sick beats. Uh, now, now knowing that they're going to do that, Let's go for those heights. And I will push them double time, all that good stuff. We'll order them there. Okay, we'll get the battery over here. All right. Uh, MacArthur. Well, we'll just have King... Okay, we're gonna mount up and move, uh, but I think that this kind of shadowing stuff you don't you don't need to be here for. All right, so the good news, bad news, we have King scouting. He was able to keep an eye on them. It took them a long time. Like they probably should have just come down here and, and then gone over. Luckily, Casey's division moved with great celerity. And uh, hold on, yeah, y'all need to to turn around. Uh, and so they got into position real quickly. Very nicely done. I think actually we'll probably put Schley's skirmishers there. Uh, we'll put Rosecrans and Cullum's skirmishers over there. We'll put ours over there. This is more for, I think, role play reasons than anything else. But remember, this is a massive hill. Right, coming coming over this choke point. And so we're going to get the skirmishers lined up. We already have the cav right where they need to be. I'm going to leave the scouts out now until they engage. McCall, McClellan, uh, I think there's McCollum down here. For whatever reason, Matthew's division has gone absolutely stupid and is marching in line. And so actually what we need to do is we, we, we need to pause them. And we'll get that done. McClellan now can come over here. I want him to stay in relatively close contact with King. Uh, but I think it might be time for King scouts to come back. And then get ready to, yeah, get ready to deploy. In loose order. I believe this is a forest here. I'm just looking at the ground. And the ground looks kind of colored to be like a forest. So that's, that's what I'm guessing. And I think we should also all have Springfield rifled muskets or I'm a little worried about the, uh, the morale. I'm seeing. Right, so they have misses. Oh, that's, oh, so yeah, I guess when we did the uh, upgrade to best weapons, they went with Mississippi's and Plains rifles, which are excellent, excellent. Uh, particularly if you're going to have skirmishers, but yeah, so we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, McClellan's going to go to a more central location. Matthew's division is pretty much wiped out. I, I would classify them as wiped out because they're exhausted. It is 1 p.m. You know, even if we give them until 3 or 4 p.m. and then get them moving, they're, they're pretty much out of this battle. So we're in a case of we need the AI... We, we have to kind of win down 2v1. If you're going to win down 2v1... There aren't that many better positions than, than this one to do it from. So uh, we have that going in our favor. You can see now that we brought our scouts back, we don't have eyes on what's going on up here. Uh, that's the risk we kind of got to take. Okay, these guys need to go back into 
boom mode. Uh, these guys need to have angles, which I think they're working on. Here, let's just see if we give them a click attack order. What guns are they using? They need to move up 3-inch ordnance rifles. They should be able to hit that. And how about you all? What do you actually have? 3-inch ordnance. Huh. I would think... Well... We're kind of down at their level. That they would be able to see that and loop some shots in. But, you know, one of my divisions is, is exhausted, but I would bet probably just about all of their forces are, are tired. When the time comes, we will push infantry up to hold here. As long as I don't see, I don't see any of their sprites coming through here, which is... Both a good thing and a bad thing. That means that they sent forward two brigades that are not well supported. And so that's a good thing for us. But it also means that the rest of that force could show up out of almost anywhere. And uh, we would have to react very quickly. All right. So the map is telling us that there's more coming down. I don't know that that's actually true. So we'll try to get them in. Now, I guess our skirmishers allowed them across the bridge. Maybe these guys are not close enough to be able to do anything. All right, now their skirmishers are falling back. I'm guessing Rosecrans... Oh, they can see. All right. Uh, we will send... We'll line up. Column. Oh, it's a column, not McCollum. There and Rosecrans there. I don't. I. I. So I did mess around after the last battle and tried to get. Uh. I tried to slow down some of the zoom in speed it, it's it doesn't seem with with the buttons uh the keyboard it, it doesn't seem to work well there's a lot for scroll speed uh and you can see with the mouse this is me with the mouse it's very slow but if i want to cover a lot of ground quickly i don't really have a way to do that all right i don't i don't know so what you just saw me do this this has probably been like this for a little while where I can actually move the enemy units. I just did that to help them because half of their unit was faced in the wrong direction. And since either I screwed something up or it's the vanilla game where they don't orient themselves correctly, uh, I, I gave the AI a little bit of an assist there. All right, we're going to see if we can get a bombardment rolling right around here. And... They should be able to bombard the bridge. Hopefully that angle is a good enough one. But yeah, I'm worried about these morales. Saying that they're stable, yeah, is usually a bad thing. Huh. I guess fighting spirit is just low. All right. That brief interlude here, but uh, we are back at it. So they are now supported, right? We have the, their cab brigade here. I, like... All right, and then they have two brigades across, so. Yeah, we're gonna move this brigade up to join. All right, I didn't have to move them. They saw me and uh, they got out of the way. That's, that's good. 
good for them. You want to make the most... Well, I was going to try to push in. You know what? It is 1.30 in the afternoon. There is a chance that... Uh, Well, there's a chance that we'll be able to go through the overnight. And uh, that would be... That would allow us to get our ammo back. But we got to watch this move here. Uh, because Cav, as good as they are, they do not like... Getting flanked. It's one of the ways you can deal with them. And uh, I think this cab is actually going to be forced back. So that's going on over there. We will check and see. All right, so they actually, well, they say they're bombarding. I can see that they actually are bombarding. These guys, I have my doubts about. Yeah. They don't appear to be. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move. We're going to move them up. And probably just put them right in the middle. I, I don't like having artillery there for a variety of reasons, but we're going to do it anyways. And I want these guys to move up. And uh, I left long enough to not capture this. So. That movement. Yeah, we we don't we don't want to be like that. Okay, they're at medium range. I wish they would show that they're at medium range. These guys are getting shots over their friendlies. All right, let's get Rosecrans skirmishers back. I think they're actually blocking the line of sight of most of this brigade, and that's why they're unable to engage. And uh, MacArthur's been shooting for a while and needs to begin retiring off that way. We'll check and see how... Uh, our marchers are doing yeah unfortunately they're still tired so i'm really not inclined to move them even if they're winded and uh we're gonna have to try to make do with what and who we have i hope MacArthur has enough ammo uh, ammo may not be the issue Okay, good. They, they do know to shoot at medium range. That's good. All right. It looks to me like these brigade... All right. So they have not yet broke, but Parsons has. They look like they're going to engage there. Yeah. You know what? MacArthur breaking and routing might be the best thing for him. I mean, the casualties aren't even 10% yet. But... You know, they've taken the skirmish. Uh, right, they, they, they shot out their ammo. They're, they're kind of drawing them away. I, I think that these... Well, no, Talaferro looks like he's done kind of no matter what. I don't see them being able to get out of that. Rosecrans is doing... Yeah, Rosecrans and the Column have not taken... I think those casualties are just from skirmishers. Uh, there are skirmishers that were shot up previously, so I'm not not worried about that. Uh, might be a little early to rally King. Casey can move over since the artillery is coming over with him. We broke Talaferro. That's good. You know what? I don't think that these skirmishers are actually helping us, so I think we want to move up with column. Okay, we want to fix our facing a little bit here. Yeah, Parsons is now broke. That's very good for us. Now we'll be able to get them in a 2v1. Arthur continuing to have problems, and I'm, I'm hoping he's able to withdraw back. I don't know. 
Uh, that bombardment no longer needs to happen. We can switch to fire at will. Alright. Now we gotta improvise. And it looks like we've drawn enough of them off that we can send one brigade all the way and another brigade half of the way. And we'll send them at the double. Alright. I think some of those brigades have given up pursuit. Others have not, but MacArthur is still only at about 10%. These guys, oh, that's Telfair who already ran, so... Telfair was just kind of running into them. But their cab is breaking off... Interesting, their cab is breaking off pursuit, but early is not. This is going horrendously. I don't know if I should fix their facing. If that's... Well, they are moving to face the right way. They're going to try to get their front facing this way and then probably try to withdraw over the stone bridge here. But... Uh, All right, yeah, so, I mean, we mounted up just because they routed into us and, and ended up in a, and we ended up in a melee as a result. Uh, can we actually mount? All right, so we are mounted, and we are trying to retreat. Don't know that we will get there, but we will try. It seems like the order to Schley did not carry through, so we'll try that again. Yeah, and I'm just not sure. All right, and we broke Thompson. So that's three brigades we've knocked down. Are they? Yeah, but they're still not that far from breaking. I, I wonder it's because we just have generally bad morale across our force. All right, so they're okay, okay, well-rested, and okay. So we will try this again. And we will see what we get. Uh, we want to try to rally. Let's see. McClellan, can you rally? Are these guys broke? Yeah, okay, so they're broken. That's okay. How are we doing over here? That is just fine. Okay, you got to face the right direction. And we'll turn you to fire at will. AC just slide over a little bit since no oh. we'll see we will see uh, it looks like now oh now tombs is over as well so they managed to snake snake yeah snake a number of brigades over but they just don't seem to be doing very much when they do all right so the play now is we're gonna try to put column in those woods. Alright, they're here. I don't know if they're actually rallying or not. Uh, King... Where are you at, King? There you are. You should be trying to rally. Andrews is going to make it there in time. And I like where Rosecrans is to deal with anybody coming over that bridge. And so we're just going to have him lay down for the moment. All right, these guys are going to go back and uh, number the guns. And these guys still can't quite figure this out. Oh, well. Andrews is there. How are we doing here? It looks like we're positive. Plus 22% per hour. That's good. Alright, and here, we'll try. Do we have to move back first and then forward? I don't know. Okay. We'll get you all facing that way. That is fine. That pontoon, I don't believe, has been constructed. Okay, we're going to throw some stuff there. All 
All right. I want Andrews here just so he could threaten to push over here if if it was advisable. Not sure that this is really where they want to be, but if they, uh, you know, Jesus walked their way over, maybe maybe it won't be such a problem. Ladies and gentlemen. I think we have a thumbnail. <laughs> We're a little too zoomed in that they kind of look Robloxy. Uh, that's a little bit better, but yeah, we really need that uh, improved 3D models and textures mod back. But after the uh, early February, here it is, six, seven weeks later. It's it's too bad because I think that modder waited a long time to see if there would be anything out. There wasn't, so the modder made the improvements and. No sooner did that happen than <laughs> uh, then they released an update which broke the mod. So I was like, uh, you gotta be kidding me, man. The suffering. The suffering. All right. Uh, yeah, so Casey for right now, you actually need to be about where McClellan is. Schley is gonna stay there as a, I think Schley can actually start to cheat back a little bit. These idiots. There's got to be something wrong here. Use cover. No, I, I would say use roads. I don't know what to tell you guys. Oh dear. Uh, uh, oh dear. Good thing we actually took a look at the map. All right, so Andrews is over here. That's fine. Schley, you are over here, and you now need to fall back. Also, where are these troops coming from? King, uh, Schley in contact. MacArthur low on ammunition. Yeah. All right, so Rosecrans is going to have to hold here. Is Rosecrans... Rosecrans is firing prone in a forest. So that, that's good. I think he should be able to beat early. Um, over here, what is this? Why does this look like, uh, because the infantry is on top of cavalry. All right, sure. Oh well. But no, we do need to hold here with uh, these folks to switch you back to fire at will. So they're up to unstable. Oh, and we've almost won. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like we have three good brigades. Schley is meh. MacArthur is meh. And these others are not going to be here probably till the end of the day. Uh, but Rosecrans and Cullum, I think, are just having their way with... Okay, yeah. Just having their way with anyone and everyone that is trying to cross. I, I like the perk rate I've been seeing so far. You can see like, it, it makes sense that Cullum and, and Rosecrans would be at, yeah, I mean, well, maybe Cullum should have done a bit more, but Rosecrans is about 50% of the way to a perk. Uh, and then once you get the first one, it should be easy. I don't know what I'm gonna do about perks in this campaign, probably nothing. Um, all right, and it looks like they are now withdrawing. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to make of this. It. It. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it should have been harder, and it kind of felt a little bit harder than it should, but in another sense, 
it was quite easy. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, we whooped on them in terms of casualties, right? We took 63 killed. They took 348 and 512 captured. So that's uh, almost 900 that aren't going to come back for them. Whereas for us, it's less than 100 that aren't for sure coming back. So uh, that can be the beauty of defending on, on Bull Run. Uh, let's see what else is going on. So we have Pickett's Corps rolling up with 9,500. All right, we're going to bring McDowell. Should I? I I just don't trust McDowell. I don't know, but I... I'm going to put McDowell in. I don't know if Pickett engage. I bet Pickett's going to engage McClellan. And I don't know who Pickett is bringing with him. If there's other forces down here I can't see that are going to get dragged into this battle. I see now that Patterson is here. All right. If Patterson can avoid it and stay out of it, that's perfectly fine with me. I don't know why this is still showing why we haven't broken contact here. We should. All right. I mean, if they want this battle... Um... You know what? Only 36 minutes in, we we, uh, we give them that battle. It's a cav-heavy force, uh, but we should have enough cav for at least half of that. And uh, my guess is probably going to be bull run again. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see what we get. All right, what do we learn here? We get to defend. <laughs> we get to defend the, the unfinished railroad. Wait a minute. Have we seen this before? Yes, we have. Um... So, given the nature of what we're dealing with, what I think we're dealing with, we kind of knew, yeah, I think we're, we're, we're going to deploy up to Henry Hill, send them forward, detach the artillery now, and then I'm going to go find them and bring you back. All right, so it looks like we have found them. And this is in some ways a repeat of last time. All right, we'll slow it down. Uh, we're going to bring MacArthur back. Yeah, McClellan can continue up. Matthews, um, we will see it happens. We're, we're going to put Matthews on this hill. We're going to put Casey on this hill. We can move Ferry's battery up here and eventually move the infantry out. And then Howe's battery can sit here. I want to keep these forces close to roads because it's going to, right? If they decide to bypass this, Balls Ford and Lewis's Ford or Island Ford, if they're going to bypass all three of those and move up to Stone Bridge, I want the forces to just be able to hop back on the road, shift left, and uh, meet them there and, and, and then worry about it. But uh, I'll see what the AI does. I mean, this is reasonable. Uh, right, that's what they, they should do, but that's not what we're there to do. We're mostly find out where they're coming in from, and then uh, we'll make adjustments based on what we've learned so far. It looks like they might be going back for the Stone Bridge, and so I think I'll make I'll make those adjustments here in a moment. So it's weird. They they uh, also it was weird that I was moving at like two in the morning. I thought we were supposed to be resting then but somehow it allowed me to, to to move them the the ai has just been here for well since at least 3 30 a.m and it's 7 30 and they're not doing anything so i'm thinking i can see that picket is on he has general attack orders um i had not planned to do this this campaign but i mean first we're, we're, we're kind of stuck and they're just going to keep losing because we're holding on to a monster point from here, we can probably get to Poplar Ford. So, I don't know what is up with his forces, but... Let's see if we can give him that movement order, and let's just see if they actually carry it. Alright, they, they are. Uh, yeah, this is, this is very odd. 
it, it seems like of all of these, it's the least bad to attack. I mean, farm forward... E the, the reason why I say that is that you can put surrounding infantry and cavalry and try to shoot defenders that are trying to stop you from getting across the poplar forward. Granted, once you get past that, the challenge is how do you push up into it and still get on to... Uh, what? Well, it's the unfinished railroad. You don't you don't want any part of Sudley Springs as a, as an attacker. Excuse me. That much I know. Uh, again, these are pretty terrible. These, uh, although it looks like there are options, I think there are only three units there, and so you know if you take two or one of those or, or all three, you're, you're either too spread out or you're too bunched up, and it's very easy if you're the defender to pivot into these. Even if they wanted to put infantry to, to support a crossing, you could get across, but then it's, it's going to be very easy for me to line up both divisions and, and pummel them. So I think my plan is to probably just move Pickett here and then just give him a general attack order. I, I don't know if I can make him retreat, and I don't want to... I mean, that, that would make more sense. I don't want to end up having myself retreat because of it. So I'll put you back on pause, and, and we'll see how the, the AI moves. But uh, it's better than just sitting there with nothing going on. All right, so the AI is actually... I mean, they're, they're, they're making decent time. The problem is that the cav got out way ahead of the infantry. I've pivoted to mirror them, so that I'm, I'm kind of always between them and the objective. Um... Yeah, not too much else to say here. That's where you go. McClellan's going to move off this way. Now, if I can actually see Pickett again, I'll, I'll give him orders to move, but I doubt I will. But we'll see. If, if King can spot him, I will give him probably a divisional attack order to just move up here. Okay, we'll move that there. We'll put house guns over here. I think there's usually a pretty good angle, and it's hard for them to, hard for the folks on the east side to shoot at them. All right, and then we'll get over here, and we'll see what we can see. I guess maybe I should just turn Fog of War off and uh, play as the AI as well. It's interesting that we have double line as the order with four brigades, but they go three and one. That's the way I... If they did this all the time, I would not have the problem with, with double line. But it seems like far too often it would actually be two and two, and then they would end up kind of crossing over one another and it would just not be a good good situation so um but yeah the way it is now is not not bad i'm guessing picket is right here and i just cannot see him can i can i i don't know that i can turn fog of war off in here since it was selected as being on European interventions. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Or I could do it brigade at a time. But I, I don't feel like microing them. I didn't even really want to micro myself, believe it or not. But are we able to see picket? Huh, they're not letting us. It's so odd that they did have a general attack order. And they just do not seem like they want to do it. Alright, so I was able to find Clark, who I guess is... It's an odd OOB, but it's it's Pickett's the core command, and then there's a division... Smith... Uh-oh, yeah, I forgot to slow things down. Oh. And I forgot to get my guy out of the way. Uh... This is, uh, this is going well. Well, anyways. 
I think MacArthur's just going to get slaughtered. Yeah, he already has. He already has. But... That Kirkland's Brigade, that's an odd, odd path over, I think. So send them up there. Get those pointed in that direction. Uh, okay, we'll keep Schley back because I'm not sure we should expect much from him. Yeah, well, MacArthur can run. That's that's fine. Okay, I'm not sure what Ferry is waiting for, but I think he might have waited too long. Oh, well, there's no way that those guns are going to be able to, yeah, point down now. It's That's over. Uh, that's probably all we can do. Yeah, you know, fall back to friendlies and try to last samurai them. Well, they'll get a battery and we'll get a cav brigade. Overall, that's got to be a trade we're happy with. Let's get our skirmishers back so that they don't obstruct line of sight of the brigades. Oh, and now they may just they may just go back into a melee. Well, that's not good for me. But anyways, uh, all right. So we got that going. sure why we're walking like into and around them and all that other stuff I'd feel like yeah realistically that's that's going to be rougher for them than than they might think at first all right so we're going to get over here we're going to try to rally king they're already doing their thing. They're moving out to position. That's okay. And yeah, the, the main thrust is over here. I mean, overall, like, you know, what else was the AI going to come up with? I, I don't know. I guess you kind of have to play against yourself. Uh, yeah. Uh, but Kirkland did some work. Uh, let me think. Yeah, he actually broke. Well, I guess it's it's a battery and a brigade, which is fine. All right, you all are there. That's okay. Casey will try to rally. Moore should try to rally. Everybody should try to rally. Clellan will try to rally them. Yes, yes. Good, good. Is our unit wiped? Well. All right. We will uh, send some skirms to reclaim those guns. Andrews is going to be out here. What's the general attack plan, Clark? I Yeah, I don't know what the heck Kemper's doing out here. Although he's, he's moving all right. Speed things up a bit. OK. 
Okay. Always get advice. All right. So we're going to work on getting more spec. And yeah, I don't... I don't know if they have a plan from here. The original attack order I gave them was to just attack up here. I kind of just wish they would... I could have ordered the uh, withdrawal form, but... Can I get Rufus Clark? Can I actually rally them? Can I have them rally themselves? All right, that's Schley's. Let's bring Schley's skirmishers back in. You're nervous, but how are you doing? All right, they will be back soon. That's good to know. How about you guys? You guys look like you're you're well on your way back. Oh yeah. So those two brigades will be back in action. Morris, yeah, did not take a lot of casualties at all. But then again, he only has, I mean, he's got a smaller brigade to start out with. So uh, it's going to take him a little bit longer to get back in the action. But in general, they look like they're okay. <laughs> Rally on the colors. Good advice. Good advice. Okay. Uh, let's get you all who can move to move. Keep you at the uh, crossroads over there. We'll plink away. Plink, 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 plink. We will give them... We'll take advantage of the funnel and we'll shoot right into the funnel. I thought there was more to that. Hope we don't need to march all day. Alright, yeah, we're sending skirmishers out to try to entice them to move forward. This is actually pretty cool. Their scouts are... Well, running into my skirmishers. I, I would think that 150 Cav Scouts should be 200 skirmishers. Yeah. Okay, we'll push you up just to keep the skirmishers kind of close to the parent unit. That's Wofford's cavalry. Can I give you guys advice? Get get dismounted. There. There's my advice. Maybe this will be another way to balance these campaigns. It's just when the, the AI, the battle AI, is doing things that are obviously wrong, I'll, I'll help them. Like, reorient them. May, actually, you know what? Since I, I hate double line in the way the AI usually uses it, I could probably just order them the single line. It should reduce the problems without making it actually a bunch of mirror matches. All right, fighting Joe, you're up there. All right, AI, I don't know what the... What, oh, I just saw somebody I could have issued an order with. Like, you either got to go in or get out. So they're a little bugged out. They're doing that thing where they are super spread out. Actually, so... Yeah, there, there are two ways to do this. This is probably an okay way, especially since there's a brigade sitting behind it. If this brigade was not this close... I would mount this cab up and I would charge these skirmishers off. Uh, they should make quick work of them. If they're not covered by friendly infantry. Otherwise, it's a little silly to, to lose 
lose ammo and take too many casualties from skirmisher infantry that they should own. Uh, but what they really need, I guess, I guess this is just something I'm doing now. I'll uh, try to rally them. And what they really need to do is be the vanguard and push and yeah, push pretty quickly. It looks like your friendly infantry is uh, moving quite well. All right. I'm gonna pivot the cav here. Or I'm gonna pivot that cav there. Put that infantry there. We're gonna put this infantry here. Can you guys grab guns? Andrews? Alright, no. So who already has them? McCook has guns. Oh, did they not keep my... Did they not like my idea? Well, that's fine, but like, you still gotta push, man. these guys doing oh no 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 let me help you guys you, you need to be over here here attack me like this it's not great but it's better than what you're doing So, I'm trying to remember. I think I've sent out a round of skirmishers with almost everyone. So, I, I guess I'll hold off on doing it again. As another on the spot house rule, but the CSA has got to push up here. And if they won't do it, I'll do it for them. Alright, this is a little spot here. That's fine. All right, they're moving in the right direction. They're uh, eventually going to end up on the back, on the right side. The right side, yes. All right. Yeah, so they're bugged out, which happens even when the player is controlling them. So, but sometimes they, they they get like extra super wide, which it's it's yeah, it's a bit much. It's a bit much, but hey. Make sure our whole brigade can shoot him. Just position them as the reinforcements that they are. N Look, if you guys are gonna f like retreat, then just retreat. But do do not fall back here. Like th this is not viable, and I don't know where the heck the infantry is. Well, if they pushed behind you, there's a chance you could have pushed off some of these brigades. I think. Uh, all right, so we're gonna move Morris. Even if he is nervous, we're gonna move him over because we got to get Matthews closer to his troops. So we got him there. McClellan's in an okay spot. Uh, King's a little bit far from the field, but I'll burn that bridge when I get there. Rosie took a hit. 
Well, they have at least obfuscated what is going to go on in the back lines. They were trying to move around a little. It's such a bad idea, though. Like, First of all, that cab is going to get chewed up, and then you're down to, what, two infantry brigades trying to push through Sudley Springs? Can you not see the problem with Sudley Springs? But, but I digress. Uh-oh. Accidentally tabbed out. Uh, alright, well, they broke... Was it their first battle? No. Well... I don't really have any words of consolation for you. Uh, Rosecrans is confident. Good. Push him and Andrews up. Waiting's the worst. Morris's skirmishers are right, they haven't been used yet, so we'll send them up. All right, it looks like we finally see people. Oh no. Oh, no. All right. Well, that's that's not good. Though it is understandable. Uh, we'll see if we can start pre-rallying them. Yeah, that's really not good to go in exhausted. All right. What can I do? What can I do? Issue it. I really. Yeah, let's see what they do. Here, we'll do it with McClellan. I think these guys are just ghost artifacts. I don't think they're actually here. Oh, they kicked out new skirmishers. That I wouldn't have thought. Soon enough, we'll see the elephant. What is this? I I don't know what this is. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to have fallen back. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I can't even reorient their cavalry form. Is it possible with Clark? I don't know. No, I'm not going to surrender, but... I do not know. Well, this isn't fun to watch. All right, so I, I just ordered these four brigades to attack the ones that I can see down here. So maybe we'll do something, maybe we won't. I don't know, but 
I still don't know what the heck this is or how this is here. Or why they just can't. You know what? We gotta figure it out sometime, right? So if I click them. So that is with Pickett selected. I don't know. Maybe we'll try it in a different battle. Why are why are they still in this fight? It actually done pretty well on casualties if the rest of that's correct. But... Alright, so Schley looks like he has no idea what's going on. Typical Schley. Alright, Colum, I guess, ended up in a melee because he just walked into the, the enemy there. As one does. Huh. Alright, so Column is now panicked. I think I need I think I need to reload this save. Uh, after this battle, after this video, of course, but Alright, now they think it's a major victory. Somehow Wofford is still here. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Wait, are these guys in a melee? Oh, they are. They're actually in a melee. Well, it's about it's about time. Uh-oh. We lost our timer at the bottom. Uh so, yeah. All right, I was able to extricate myself by saving, leaving, coming back. Units disbanded. Alright, so we lost our battery. To be expected. Alright, so that was here in the Army of Occupation. So we will need a new one. Yes, yes. Uh... Sure, nah, I've kind of picked on Indiana Bunch. We'll now pick on Maine for a fresh battery. All right, and maybe I'll just give him embedded reporters since it doesn't seem like, it doesn't really seem like one that matters too much, but it's useful in the late game particularly with some of these suboptimal commanders. And mostly I'm just annoyed at seeing that it's there and I'm like, go, go away, go away. Uh, so we haven't been able to do anything over here, but that's kind of to be expected and okay. Holy moly. That's right. That was a bloody battle some time ago. I almost forgot about that. I definitely did forget about that, but as I promised, this would be the end of this episode. Episode 6? Is that right? Seems like there's been a lot more. Yeah, it, it, it does to me. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it as much as you could. And uh, this campaign so far has not wanted for action. Let's hope that continues.